Hi everyone, Matt from the pre-sales team at NetSupport here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to install the student component of Classroom.Cloud onto your Windows devices. So what I'm going to be showing you today is a manual installation of the software and this is perfect if you perhaps just signed up for a trial, you're looking to install the software on two or three devices to have a bit of a play, see what features the product offers. However, if you're looking to install to a large amount of devices, then I point you to our admin user guide in the web portal here, and this covers bulk deployment methods. Now, if after reading the guide you're still a bit stuck and you've got some questions, then do reach out to either our support team or your account manager, and we can give you some further assistance. So let's get started. So the first thing you're going to need to do is to sign into your classroom.cloud web portal, and then from there, if we click on the sites menu, and then the name of your site, and then installers. This will drop you into the Windows installer page. From here you're going to want to click on this download.exe button to download the install file. Now when you download the file it's important that you don't rename it and the reason for that is that the file name is made up of this site configuration that you can see in the center of the screen here. And what happens when you run the installer, it automatically reads this site configuration and sort of configures the software in the background so you don't need to type any of this in at installation time. So once you've got the file downloaded, you're going to need to copy it to the devices you want to install it onto. And that can be done by either copying it to a network share or you could copy it maybe to a pen drive and uh, manually move that file across. So I'm just going to bring up my machine here and I've already copied the uh, install file over into this installers folder so you can see I've got the site configuration there in my file name so I'm just going to double click this to run it give that a second and it's really simple from here just simply click on the install button let that run through and there we go that's that all done now what once the software has installed in the system tray you should see a grey icon and if you mouse over it it should uh, report back a status of unlicensed. Now at this point if the software isn't saying unlicensed it's reporting back uh, not connected that indicates that the machine can't connect to our classroom.cloud servers and that will normally indicate that it's being blocked by your firewall. So as a rule of thumb what you're going to need to do is make sure that classroom.cloud and all subdomains are whitelisted and allowed through your firewall. But if it's saying unlicensed as mine uh, does here, then we're all good to go. So I'm just going to minimize that now. And then we're going to jump in to our unassigned devices. And we can see that the device is appearing within the classroom.cloud web portal. Now, in order for us to be able to connect to this device, we need to license it. And the way we license devices in Classroom.Cloud is by putting them into a device group. So I haven't got any device groups set up yet. So to set one up, I'm going to click on the device groups option and add a device group. And you can call this whatever you like. So we'll just call this uh, demo. Uh, don't touch this uh, particular switch here. Just leave this as default and click on add. So I've now got my device group. So if I jump back to my unassigned devices, and if I click on the uh, three dots just to the right here and click on assign and then select the group I've just created and click on yes that has now popped that device into that device group and it's assigned it a license so if I go to devices here on the left you can see it's showing my device and it's got a status there of available and that means that everything is working correctly so the final thing I'm going to want to do is to set up a class so I can connect to this device using the classroom management side of the software. And I can do that by clicking on my classes, click on the uh, name of your school there, and then click on add class. Select the, the uh, connection type and the connection type you want is device group. Give your class a name, so I'm just going to call this uh, demo class. The description is optional, so you can add one in if you want, uh, but you don't have to. I'm just going to leave it blank. And when it comes to selecting the device group, uh, select the device group you just created and put your device into. So I'm going to select my demo one here. And then you can pick a subject. Now, picking the subject just basically changes the icon uh, that's assigned to this class. So it has no impact on how the software works. It's purely visual. So I'm just going to select Compute in here and click on Add. As you can see I've got a little computer icon, I don't know if you can make that out. 
but that class is all set up and ready to go. So if I click on my demo class here, give that a second. I'm now connected to my student device and I'm ready to explore the software. So if you want to uh, add more devices to your uh, classroom.cloud environment, you can just follow through the, uh, the procedure I've just taken you through. Um, but that basically is it. Um, you can see really quick to, uh, to get up and running. That's taken us about five minutes or so. So hopefully that's been useful. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you all again in the next video.